I'm John McQuay with 8541 Tactical. We're sitting out here on the back porch today to talk to you about a new set of sunglasses I just received. These are the SWAT glasses from Bollet Tactical. They are polarized lenses. They are ANSI Z87 compliant, so they are ballistic rated. They'll give you a little bit of safety when you're shooting firearms or if you're in any situation where you need ballistic eye protection. Um, the reason I wanted to talk to you about these glasses is I've used polarized lenses in the past because they are excellent for being able to see through auto glass and really cutting down reflections and glare. One of the main disadvantages of polarized lenses is if you work around LCD displays, um, laptop computers for instance, there's a real problem uh, when you look at a LCD display where you'll get the rainbow colors and you'll get a darkening in that display and it makes it really difficult to actually see the information on the display. So as a result, whenever you're driving around, if you have an LCD display in your vehicle, whenever you need to look at the display, you're constantly flipping your glasses up on your head and flipping them down and flipping them up, and it just gets really annoying. Um, if you're in a law enforcement situation, then uh, granted, you're always going to have these lenses up on top of your head at the worst possible time. Uh, you really want them down covering your face. It's vitally important in a military role where you may have a display in your vehicle that you're looking at. Uh, you don't want to have these lenses off in your hand, hooked to something, or laying next to you when you hit an IED or something happens that causes the glass to shatter or fragments to be generated inside the vehicle. You really want something between your eyes. So with the polarized lenses in the Bollet Tactical SWAT glasses, I've really noticed that you can get a pretty clear view of LCD displays. Sometimes there's a little bit of the rainbow effect still on them, but I really don't have any problem reading the information at all, at least on the Panasonic Tough Books and some of the other displays I've looked at. Now, my iPhone, my OtterBox has really been through hell, and so the, the cover on it is a little scratched and a little nicked, and you'll tend to get these nifty little starburst patterns on clear covers like that. But the display is still readable. Uh, it's still easy to use, even looking at it with those little starbursts on it. Um, so these glasses are, have really impressed me in the fact that uh, the polarized lenses um, don't cause you the problems that I've seen in quite a few other versions of polarized lenses. And I've used a varying array of polarized glasses from the gas station, you know, $2 specials, all the way up to some very expensive high-end name brand polarized lenses. And as far as the end user, I think these polarized lenses in the Belay Tacticals are probably about the best that I've used. I don't really have any problem at all with the optical clarity, they're clear edge to edge. I don't really get any distortion on the edges of the lenses. Like sometimes you tend to have with uh, these nice uh, crazy shapes that they're putting out now. The actual function of the glasses themselves is pretty straightforward. You put them on your face, they work. Um, they have the, the normal uh, folding ear stems. One thing that I did like that you tend to see on some of the higher end uh, composite glasses is they put these nice little rubber pads anywhere that the glasses contact your skin. And what this helps though is it helps keep the glasses anchor to your face. Uh, you don't have the, the sliding like you do if you just have slick plastic. Uh, one of the drawbacks about these glasses though is, are the frames are glossy. Uh, that was kind of interesting to me since they're marketed as a tactical uh, eyewear. They're specifically in the Bollet Tactical line. Uh, I really have no idea why they didn't go with a matte black frame on them. It really doesn't cause a problem except in one area. On the inside of the lenses, uh, right here at the nose pieces, they're gloss black. And what I noticed the first time I put these lenses on, or these glasses on when I was driving down the road, is I could actually see the reflection on the bridge of my nose of what was going by in the driver's side window. Uh, it doesn't cause a big problem, but it was distracting at first for a little while. Now, after I wore them for a couple of days, I didn't notice it anymore. The distraction went away. So it's really something that you get used to pretty quickly, but I thought it would be something I'd mention. I would really like to see these exact same glasses with a matte black frame. Other than that, I really liked them. Uh, they work very well. 
they come with this uh, neat nylon case. It's uh, Velcro opening. It's semi-rigid, so it still holds its shape when you take the glasses out of it. Gives it a little bit of protection. You get a microfiber bag that also doubles as a cleaning cloth. And they have a belt loop on the back and a little plastic hook. That is about it for the, the features on the glasses. If you decide to check them out, we'll leave a link down below in the description for the Bollet Tactical website. Go check them out. If you decide to purchase a set of the glasses, make sure you tell them we sent you. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you click that thumbs up button below. If you're not a subscriber, please click that subscription button. It'll help you know when we publish new videos. Thanks.